Hey, what's going on, team? Welcome to the video. So, a common question that is asked by many of you is trying to figure out how many calories to eat to lose weight. Um, what should you eat? What should you not eat? And so, the whole purpose behind this video is to give you an easy, in depth breakdown of trying to figure that out. And by the way, if you're someone who does not enjoy doing math, neither do I. There are a bunch of calculators you can use online to help you determine your calories. I'm going to leave a link down the description below. Um, but keep in mind, these are all estimates. There's no exact, exact number. For those of you who don't know, in order to lose weight, you need to be eating in a calorie deficit. It simply means eating fewer calories over time than the number of calories you burn. And the most proven way to know whether you're actually in a deficit is by tracking what you're eating. But before tracking how many calories you can eat, you need to figure out how much you're actually eating. And to do that, there's one of two ways to do that. Um, you can either use an online calculator to help you figure that out, or you can do it yourself by hand. And we're going to do it ourselves by hand. Good old fashioned math way. Hopefully it doesn't get too boring. Let's go. Step number one, you need to determine your maintenance calories. That's simply the number of calories you need to eat at to maintain your current weight. And so let's take John for example, right? If there's a John out there, let's take you for example. You're about 6'1", you weigh 231 pounds, you are at 30% body fat and you want to lose weight. There are three equations that we're going to use to help determine John's maintenance calories. And I have this whiteboard over here. If you guys can't see, I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, I'll talk. So it says equations for John's maintenance calories, right? Equation number one, we have lean body mass equals body weight minus total body fat. Equation number two, we have our BMR, which is our basal metabolic rate. That gives us 370 plus 21.6 times lean body mass in kilograms. These two numbers that you see here, the 370 and the 21.6, those are already given numbers. These are numbers that's already there. I didn't make them up. And number three, John's maintenance calories equals BMR times activity level. So this might seem like a lot, which it is, but we're going to break it down, right? That's the whole point of this video, breaking it down step by step a beginner's guide, making it as simple as possible. So we're going to use equation number one first, and then we're going to move downward. So we're going to use John's lean body mass. We're going to figure out John's lean body mass, which equals body weight, which we know, right? Because John weighs about 231 pounds. We just have to figure out John's total body fat, right? We know John's body fat right now is at 30 percent body fat if I remember yep he weighs 231 pounds he's 6'1 and he's 30 percent body fat so body weight that's 231 pounds minus total body fat and so the first equation we're going to use right is trying to figure out what John lean body mass is right if you remember John is 6'1 he weighs 231 pounds he's 30% body fat. We know what his body weight is, which is 231 pounds. We're trying to figure out what his total body fat is in order to get our lean body mass, right? Hope I haven't lost anybody. So it's lean body mass equals body weight, which is 231 pounds minus total body fat. We don't know what that is. We know what his current body fat percentage is, which is 30%. We're going to plug that in. Lean body mass equals 231 pounds, which is his body weight, times his current 
body fat percentage, which is 30%, which is the same as 0 0.30, that gives us 69.3. The 69.3 is now his total body fat. Now we have his body weight, 231 pounds. Now we figured out his total body fat, 69.3. We plug that back in. Lean body mass equals 231 pounds, his body weight, minus 69.3, his total body fat. John's lean body mass now is 161.7 pounds. That's John's lean body mass. Hope I haven't lost anybody. All right, so from there, this is equation number one. Now we figured out what John lean body mass is. We're going to go to equation number two. And remember, the whole point of this is to try to find what John's maintenance calories are. Equation number one, equation number two, equation number three. We figured out equation number one. We're moving on to equation number two. All right, so we figured out John's lean body mass, which is 161.7. Now we're moving to equation number two. We're trying to figure out his BMR, his basal metabolic rate. And so to do that, we have the equation right up here. Hope you guys can see it. Hope, hope, make sure, let me see. Let me move around a little bit make it clear for you all right good I'm good all right so John's BMR this is equation number two again the whole gist we're trying to figure out his maintenance calories at the end of the day all right so John's BMR the equation we're going to use 370 plus 21.6 times his lean body mass in kilograms again the 370 and the 21.6 those are given numbers I didn't make that up it's already there <laughs> all right so again we know what his lean body mass is 161.7 in pounds but now we have to convert that into kilograms google it just google it Google 161.7 pounds, two kilograms, and you're going to get 73.3 kilograms. 161.7 pounds converts to 73.3 kilograms, right? So now we plug that right back in. John's BMR, which is 370 plus 21.6, Hope you guys can see times his lean body mass in kilograms, which is 73.3 kilograms. Hope I didn't lose anybody. All right, so from there, John's BMR, we do 370 plus, let me retract, sorry, sorry, let me retract. So now it's 21, because we want to, um, figured out the what's going on in between the parentheses first so now it's 21.6 times 73.3 kilograms we multiply that out that will give us 1583.3 and so John's BMR equals 370 plus 1583.3 which gives us a total of 1,953.3. That is John's BMR, his basal meta... Jeez, why I, I don't even know why I can't say it. His basal metabolic rate. So we just figured out John's basal metabolic rate. We figured out two things so far. From the first equation, we figured out his lean body mass, 161.7. From the sec second equation, we had to figure out his BMR, which we did, which is 1,953.3. We're going to move to our third equation, our final equation, to finally determine his maintenance calories. Let's go. Before figuring out what your maintenance calories are, the final part of this whole thing, 
um, you have to figure out what your activity level is. This part is extremely important. You have to, you have to be extremely transparent and honest and fully naked with yourself in terms of full transparency. Don't lie to yourself. So from, pull out the little whiteboard again. And so, hope you guys can see this. So on, on the activity level scale, right? You have to be fully honest with yourself from 1.1 to 1.5. How active are you? How active are you? How active are you? How active are you? Um, 1.1 being inactive. You're not doing anything. You don't do anything. You don't, you don't do anything. That's being, that's being inactive. One, and that's okay, right? Don't, don't, don't feel bad. Just be honest. That's okay. That's why you're here. You're trying to learn. Um, 1.2 being mostly sanitary. From experience, most people fall under this category. Uh, your typical office worker, nine to five, goes at home, sits on the couch sporadically. I mean, very sporadically, you know, goes on a walk or gets involved in recreational activities. Those sort of people. And 1.3 being an active active individual, someone who, you know, goes to the gym, works out three times a, a week, um, frequently walks or runs or jogs, are involved in recreational activities on the weekends. We'll put John under that, just for simplicity's sake. We'll put him under that. He's an active, he's an active dude. And 1.4 being intense training and 1.5 being extremely active or extremely, yeah, extremely active. 1.4 and 1.5, these are, you know, your avid fitness enthusiast, bodybuilder, marathon runner, like go, go kind of person who just loves, loves to train seven days a week, six days a week. Like we're like, we have a life and you have kids and, and people to take care of and a job. And like, we want you to be at least at 1.3, just active, go to the gym three times a, a week, you know, walk here and there. Nothing, nothing drastic. So on a scale of 1.1 to 1.5, how active are you? Be honest with yourself, be transparent with yourself. Do not lie to me, I don't care. Don't lie to yourself, be honest. Once you figure out that, now we can figure out your maintenance calorie, John's maintenance calories. And so that's going to go to equation number three. Let's go. And so we're finally here. We finally got to the final portion of this whole thing. Or we're, we're not quite, quite, quite done, but we are at our maintenance calories. We can finally figure out what John's maintenance calories is, what your maintenance calories is. And so bring out the white board. So Let's recap. I feel like this is a little bit, yeah, this is better. Let me adjust you a lot better. Um, so to get to John's maintenance calories, right? Our final part of this long series of equations. Maintenance calories, equation numero tres. Final one, maintenance calories equals BMR, John's basal metabolic rate, times activity level. We just went over activity level in our last slide, our last slide. And so to get to this point, quick recap. We had to figure out what John's lean body mass was in pounds, 161.7 pounds. We converted that to kilograms, it gave us 73.3 kilograms. From there, we had to figure out what John's BMR, his basal metabolic rate was, and we gave us that number, 1,953.3. And then from there, we had to figure out what activity level did he fall under. We said 1.3, active. To finally get us to this point, to figure out John's maintenance calories, we just need to figure out what his BMR is times his activity level. And guess what, we know what his BMR is. 1,953.3, plug that in. 
John's maintenance calories equals 1,953.3 times his activity level, which we said, which we said was 1.3. That gave us a sweeping number. His maintenance calories is 2,539.3 calories. This is the number of, we did it, by the way, in case you can't see that, we did it. Um, this is, <laughs> so stupid, so silly. And this is the number of calories John needs to eat at to maintain his current weight at 231 pounds at 6'1", currently 30% body fat. John needs to eat 2,539.3 calories to maintain this current weight of 231 pounds. Pounds. And so you're probably asking yourself, okay, now that we figured out his maintenance, a whole point of this YouTube video is trying to figure out how many calories do you need to eat to lose weight? It's a great, great question. Stay tuned. Let's go. There's more. There's more. Stick with me. All right. Let's figure that out. So, all right. All right, guys. <laughs> so we we now we now know what John's maintenance calories are and so the whole point of you sticking around is because you're trying to figure out what what's the number of calories you or John or anyone else needs to eat to lose weight and we are going to bring our good old whiteboard again our good old whiteboard whiteboard um so to figure out the number of calories you would need to eat to lose weight, let's when we're taking John for example, we know what his maintenance calories is, 2,539.3. And to figure out the number of calories he needs to eat to lose weight, we need to identify what the fat loss deficit is. I generally recommend for my online coaching clients between 20 to 35%. The higher the percentage, the more sustainable it is. It starts being more of a lifestyle thing, so to speak. The less the percentage, so if you're aiming for 20%, it's more of a rapid fat loss approach. These I generally recommend for individuals, for example, who are trying to lose an extra 10 pounds in two months because they have a, a wedding to attend to. I would use 20%. If you're someone who um, you just or generally just want a lifestyle healthier approach, I would recommend maybe 30% or 33%. Um, you get the gist. So this is the fat loss deficit between the range of 20 to 35%. We know what John's maintenance calories are, 2,539.3 calories. I recommended a fat loss deficit of 25% for uh, for John, right? And how do I put that in practice? Let's be practical here, right? And so the way in which we go about that is we use his maintenance calories, the number of calories he needs to eat at to maintain his weight, 2,539.3 calories. We multiply that by the fat loss deficit that I recommended for him, which was 25%. So 2,539.3 is maintenance calories times fat loss deficit of 25%. And that gives us a whooping number of 634.8. So his fat loss deficit would be 634.8. But we're not done yet. We use that number, 634.8, plug that back in, right? And so we then use his maintenance calories, 2,539.3. We subtracted by his noun uh, def fat loss deficit, which is 634.8. And that gives us his fat loss calories of 1,904.5 calories. 1,904.5 calories, that is the number of calories John will need to eat at to lose weight. I hope I didn't lose anyone. Again, 
quick recap in case I lost you, in case you can't really see this, in case it's just terrible writing, which it is. So what? Hope you guys can see this. I, I really do. Try my best. I really am. Um, again, to figure out the number of, this is the most important part, right? To figure out the number of calories John needs to eat at to lose weight, we figured out as maintenance calories, which was 2,539.3. We want to identify which fat loss deficit he wants to be in. I generally recommend between 20 to 35 percent. And for John, I recommended 25 percent. We use that percentage. We multiply that by his maintenance calories, 2,539.3 times his fat loss percentage, 25 percent. That gives us a number of 634.8 we use that number we subtracted by his maintenance calories 2539.3 minus his fat loss deficit 634.8 that gives us this number which is the amount of calories he would need to eat at to lose weight which is 1904.5 that is the number of calories John will need to eat at to lose weight. <sighs> I am running out of breath. I hope, hope this was informative. I hope this was a true easy step-by-step -step breakdown analysis guide, whatever you call it, to make your life a little bit easier. To actually make your life a little bit easier, just use a Use your online calculator. It will give you the exact number or something similar to this. You don't have to use this long equation. I actually, if you're someone, for, for me, I, I find that interesting. If you're someone who also finds that interesting, then mazel tov, right? We're on the same page. But um, you don't have to use this. You can use an online calculator. As I've said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to put the link down the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope I wasn't too boring. Hope I wasn't too, I don't know. I actually don't know. Take care.